The program analysis feature within the Topaz Workbench allows you to gather a lot of information about your programs. So here we will open up <clears throat> our source code and I'll select a member, just double click, let it open up in an edit. And it will prompt you for a copybook download. Do you want to download the copybooks used by this program? And I'll click yes. So I have previously set up a copybook concatenation list. And it did not find one of my copybooks there, but I'll ignore it for now. Maybe I'll want to go back and add that in later. And it opens up the source code. Notice also that it opens up an outline view over here to the right. So I'm still just in the Host Explorer perspective. And here I've got full edit capability on my source code. I can navigate around using the outline view. So if I click on something in the outline view, then it takes me to that portion of the code. Now, to be able to get a lot more information through the program analysis, we can do it one of two ways. I can right click and tell it to perform the program analysis. And it will do that and open up in the program analysis perspectives. Notice that perspective name is now open in the top right hand corner. You can also always go to the CompuWare dropdown at the top and select program analysis there. So if you'll notice, we now have not only the source code open in our edit window, but we also have some other windows or views here as well. So I'm looking at a program structure here on the very right hand side. So visually I can see the structure of this program <clears throat> and just in Eclipse if I were to double click on this tab then it will maximize that particular view for me. So at a very high level I can see my entry point, the different paragraphs and how they're laid out. Um, I've got some calls out to other programs and to um, file structures calling out to another program and then little gray D's, and this is really dead code. There's no way programmatically within <clears throat> the program as it's written that it can reach this logic. So it's tagged that as dead code, very quick and easy to identify through the program analysis. Now, if you wanna see more detail here on the top right, node text. So right now we have no text, but if I wanted to see the line numbers, where each paragraph starts, we can do it that way. Or if I want even more information, then you can look at the full text <clears throat> and it will show us those names. Now, notice the colors. So everything's in varying shades of green here. If I were to right click in anywhere in the white space, then we can look at the metric color. So right now we're looking at the McCabe metrics, which means the darker the green, the more complex the logic is within that particular paragraph. <clears throat> and I can use the color coding, the metric color for different things, everything in the list here. So if I wanted to see where all the program calls are coming from, then maybe we click on that view or that metric color, and then I can see where those are most concentrated. Another thing to be able to manage the view as we're looking at it is being able to do another right click and collapse so that I can go through, instead of having everything open on the screen at one time, you can go through and do it in a more orderly process and expand or expand all or just expand it a level at the time, three levels, five levels, seven levels. So then we can expand that back open. And of course you can adjust the sizing here as well. Everything within this view is linked back to the program itself open in our edit window. So here we'll double click again on the tab, minimize that back down. And we were looking at this P2000 paragraph. So that's where my cursor is within the program and also, that's linked to this logic flow tab here in the bottom right. So again, double click. And this will show us the logic flow just for that particular paragraph. 
So here we can see some if statements and moves, some end if moves all the way down and just track that down as we go. And really understand what's going on in the logic within each individual component. <clears throat> Notice also the sizing here, so if I wanted to try to size it up so I could see everything on one screen, we can do that as well. The other tab here is the data flow. So being able to track the data as it moves through the program, here's one way to select something to track. So if I just were to scroll down, it has a list of all the data elements within here and select one. Then I can see this customer ID and everywhere that that data moves in or out of within the program. You have different depths. So this is showing all depths. So if I were to take that off, now we're looking at just aliases, <clears throat> any conditional flows, or any flow to or flow from. So you can understand kind of what's there at different levels. So then again, if we show all depths. So if I were to make a change to that custom ID, what else might that affect within the program? Now notice I just clicked on the custom ID itself and it opened up the copybook with that custom ID's definition. So again, everything is very linked together here for us. And in all of these different views, we have a export option. So we can export these visual, these graphic views um, out to either a PDF, a Visio diagram, or to a, an image file and save those off for future reference or to archive before we make changes to things. So here I'm just going to cancel that and close this. So I've kind of moved all of my different views around. But if you ever lose a view or want to reset it, you can always right click up on the, your tab for that particular perspective and reset the perspective to its defaults. So now it's back as it was defaulted. Other information that we can gather here. So I don't have any problems in this particular one, but if I wanted to see a summary, so if I'm new to this program, or just want to understand it better. How many lines of code are there in this program? How many are comment lines or statements? What files or DB2 tables are defined here within this program? Um, which ones are used? And then the maintenance effort, right? So how many unique operators or operands are there? And then metrics on the vocabulary, the length, the computed length, and the intelligence content. If we click on the procedures, then we can also see by procedure name how many performs, program calls, file I.O., SQL statements, statements, conditionals, etc. There are. So here I see an SQL statement. If I were to click on that, it takes me to the paragraph where that statement is. And then I can, oops. Went a little too far, but there's my exec SQL select statement. So then it takes me directly there. So having everything analyzed and linked together, being able to show us visually what's going on at the, the program structure level down to the paragraph level, being able to track those data elements and everywhere that they're moving in or out of before we make any changes. So that's the program analysis. Thank you.